So here's something from the world of Christians say the darndest things. Lying, stealing, who cares? Mm -hmm. It wouldn't matter. I had an A, I was on the uh, Fundamentally Flawed uh, podcast with a couple of atheists, and they asked me, they said, Eric, if you were not a Christian, would that, would that let you just do anything you want to do? I said, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I would live my life with absolutely no restraints at all. I would do whatever I want. And that's where we get lots of, you guys get lots of testimonies I'd be well. in jail if I wasn't a Christian. I'd be breaking out of jail if I wasn't a Christian. <laughs> I would have gotten to counterfeiting. Nice. Because I got this propensity to print tracks, money tracks, yeah. trillion dollar bills, yeah. billion dollars. You don't know how many times the real thought has come to my mind. <laughs> I am a wretched <laughs> sinner saved by the grace yeah. of God. Yeah. Now I have three main areas of response to this idea that if I weren't a Christian, I'd be in jail. I call them psychopathy, conscience, and supply and demand. So, psychopathy. There seems to be this assumption that humans are just aching to murder and steal, if only it weren't for those goddamn morals and laws and stupid cops everywhere. Of course, in Christianity, one could see how this assumption makes sense, because Christians believe that humans are fallen creatures. However, the question is talking about if you weren't a Christian, so you can't just assume that humans are, at base, these terrible, horrible beings. Now, even if they continue to believe that humans are, at base, these terrible, horrible beings, it's kind of scary that Eric and Ray have no apparent concern for the laws of the society they live in, and more so that they have no concern for how doing all these things would affect their relationships with their friends and families. In any system of laws, there are going to be beings who don't care about the consequences of violating those laws. For Christian laws, these beings are the fallen angels, e.g. Satan, and, some Christians would argue, so are atheists. Likewise, in secular laws, there are always a few psychopaths here and there who don't care about the consequences of their actions with regards to themselves or other people. Christians who make the claim that if they weren't Christian they would be in jail seem to be admitting that they should be in a psych ward as psychopaths, but thank God they found a quick fix solution to their lack of empathy and their disregard for their own well-being. Conscience. There's a conflict between the idea that if a person stopped believing in God then they would be in jail, and the existence of the conscience. Even if it were true that humans are just aching to murder and steal all the time, wouldn't the fact that we have a conscience impede those desires? Surely, Eric and Ray, your consciences are up to the task, right? I mean, it seems that my conscience is, as are those of many atheists, so why not yours, assuming you're not psychopaths? Supply and Demand the claim that, if I weren't a Christian, I'd be in jail, makes no sense because if indeed this is the only life you get, then why would you want to mess it up? Why would you want to murder and steal if you know the consequences? And when I say consequences, I mean both if you're caught, i.e. jail, and if you get away with it, i.e. personal feelings of regret and alienation. If, however, you had multiple lives, either through reincarnation or a little reset button for life, then I can see how non-psychopathic people would want to try stealing and murder, if only out of curiosity to see what it's like, keeping in mind that they may not end up enjoying the acts or the results they bring forth. As an analogy, imagine a video game where you only get one life ever. You wouldn't go around taunting the enemies around you and trying to screw up your game, but if you had infinitely many lives, it could be kind of fun to try things that you would otherwise value your one life too much to dare try. So at the end of the video, at the end of the day, it is for these three reasons that I conclude that the statement, if I weren't a Christian, I'd be in jail, is bullshit.